And this is Chris Carney. He is a Democrat of Pennsylvania, and he defeated Representative Don Shearwood. Uh, Congressman-elect Carney, thank you for joining us on The Washington Journal this morning. My pleasure. Um, if, if I could ask you, if Don Shearwood had not had the personal problems that he had, would you have beaten him? Uh, perhaps. The, the district was changing. Uh, the interesting thing was that in 2004, the president won the district 60-40. By the time we hit mid-August of this year, or last year rather, the president's approval was in the mid to low 30s. So there, there was a mood changing in the district anyway. I, the, the district, as well as the country, wanted a new direction, and that's what we offered. And so uh, President Bush in 04 won 60-40 your district? Yes. And what was your percentage win? 53-47, uh, I believe. Tell us about your district. Uh, it's all or part of uh, 14 counties in the northeast and central part of the state. It's rural. Uh, the scranton Wilkesbury metro area uh, were taken out of the, of the district in the, in the last redistricting. Uh, the, the biggest uh, part of the district, the uh, city in the district, is Williamsburg, or Williamsburg, rather. And uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful spot in, uh, on this earth, I tell you what. I, I'm very proud to represent it. Uh, and, and, and the people therein are some of the, the, the best, solid, most solid people I've ever, ever encountered. Congressman-elect Tim Curran is the editor of Roll Call, and he's here on the set with me and he has a question for you. Hey, Tim. Morning, Congressman. I'm going to skip the elect part. I figure you'll make it through the next hour or so. I hope so. Um, I'm sure you will. I wanted to ask you, you know, when you look at this package of initiatives that uh, the leadership has put together for the next week or so, your first week in Washington, does that reflect the kind of things that you heard from voters in the election and that you heard uh, since winning the election? Uh, it, it absolutely does. People want an ethical Congress, certainly. People want bipartisanship. You know, the, the, the problems of this nation are too big for one party or another to solve. It's going to take all of us working together to solve it. And that's what we're going to bring to this new Congress, a sense of civility, uh, an, a sense of ethics that needs to be reinstated, and, and certainly the, the sort of substantive issues like protecting the elderly, uh, making sure that, that Social Security is protected, that families can send their kids to college uh, at, at a, a cheaper rate, for example, on, on student loan programs, energy independence. You know, those are the kinds of things that I, I hear uh, since the election and heard on the campaign trail. Uh, Congressman-elect uh, Carney, you were born in Iowa. You got a master's degree from the University of Wyoming. How'd you end up in Pennsylvania? Uh, my job at Penn State took me there uh, 15 oh, or so years ago now. And what do you do at Penn State? Uh, or what did you do? Uh, uh, political science professor. And what was your specialty? Uh, uh, international relations, foreign policy, security policy, things like that. And now, uh, are you happy with the office that you got here in Washington? <laughs> I'm thrilled with the office, yes. Tell, tell us about it. Are you moved in? Oh, uh, we're all moved in. I'm in 416 Cannon. Uh, the, the, the process I thought was very fascinating how we got to choose our offices. You know, all the freshmen were ranked by uh, alphabetical order, and then you got to pick uh, out of a, a box and, uh, a number, and that was your, your chance to pick your office. Uh, out of the 49, I was 18, so I got a pretty good office fit. Well, we we appreciate your uh, letting us take a little tour here. We're touring your office right now. Oh, good. So, um, are, were you surprised at the how big or how small it was or anything? Well, we, we got a chance to take a look at them before we actually picked, so I knew the dimensions, but, you know, they look pretty good when they're all cleaned up. <laughs> Tim Curran, any other questions? Uh, I was uh, I was curious, Congressman, if there's any one particular pet issue that you uh, you bring from your district here that you really want to see action on in the next two years. Well, we, we certainly have a lot of, of transportation-related issues that I want to see worked on, uh, and a lot of flooding-related issues that uh, still impact our district. Certainly, my home county of Susquehanna County is, was impacted hard by the, uh, the June flooding. But beyond that, there are uh, things like the health care crisis that are affecting middle class uh, families every day and, and certainly the poor. Uh, and, you know, as, as a veteran and somebody who actually uh, remains in the re Navy Reserve as an intelligence officer, I'm very concerned about the war and the direction the country is taking with the war. So those are things I'm obviously going to be keeping an eye on. If the president calls for more troops, would you support that? I do not support that right now, no. Um, our guest for the last 10 minutes or so has been Representative Elect. Chris Carney, a Democrat of Pennsylvania, a brand new member of Congress. Uh, what committee are you serving on? Transportation Infrastructure uh, is the committee assignment I've been given so far. 
Uh, I'll get a second committee assignment here in the next couple of days. And what are you hoping that will be? I'm, I'm hoping it's Homeland Security. And will your family be staying uh, in Pennsylvania or moving down with you? No, they're going to be staying in Pennsylvania. I have five children and they're, they're all in school and they're all very happy in their school. And, you know, I don't want to disrupt their lives any more than necessary. Uh, they are, in fact, coming into the building right now. It's, it's getting really loud, so that must be my family. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what about your living uh, situation? Oh, I just have a small apartment over in Arlington. Thank you for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Thanks very much.